everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is James and today I'm actually going to be doing a tarantula feeding. Uh, this is going to be live streamed on Facebook so if you do actually want to take part in our live streams you can join us in the link below in the description on YouTube. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing live streams every two weeks where we feed my tarantulas and other spiders that I catch as well because I catch wild caught spiders too. But today I've got a selection of few of spiders here. So these are obviously ones we've seen in a previous live stream, and this is actually a new spider that I recently caught. It's up there, but this one is I've actually made a TikTok about this one. It was just showing like um, this how like people um, who love spiders, if you hate them or love them, something kind of thing like that on my TikTok. But this one is currently up there, <laughs> chilling. And then I got these two are my sisters. They do need a rehouse. I do actually have enclosures ordered for them to be rehoused because I can't wait to like rehouse every single one of these. But like that one's up there, chilling. Because like you can see, they don't really go into the substrate. So I want to get like more cardboard to reach up to there. My dog is barking, by the way. <laughs> so you might hear a bark a lot, but I want to get more like this one. And I think so. That one goes very up high. I want like more cardboard pieces to go up. And so the substrate isn't very suitable, it's like too low. So I kind of do want to rehouse them, give them more of a substrate benefit so they can have it up there. It's like, look at them, they're all at the lid. <laughs> they, they all do have air holes, these are all punctured hair holes here. That one goes there. I have to remember which one's mine and which one's my sister's. <laughs> this one actually has three spiders in here. Um, they all, were all found in the same general area, so I just put them all in the same area. Watching you. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, if you hear me talking to anyone, it's going to be from the comments on Facebook, because obviously this video will be going on to YouTube, so obviously this is a live stream which you can join in the link in the link that's in the description. You can join us. Just fill out a little information about why you want to join the group, and then you can enter. So yeah. And obviously you got Ashtix right here, which is my beloved tarantula. I don't know why she's been burrowing in like different corners that like you can see. Like, look at those corners. Like, she digs over here, she digs over here, she digs down here, and she's made like this whole area. But the thing is, so I did actually, I do actually have a clip of her burrowing. Like, I had a full-on clip of her like digging this part out. Um, I haven't edited that part up yet, so that is soon to come for the YouTube channel. It'll only be about maybe a minute long, but I do have like a really nice clip of her. She was webbing the bottom and then digging it up, and it was so cool to see. It was like late at night when it was happening, so I couldn't get like a full recording of it happening, unfortunately, but I did get some clips of it, and I, I it was really nice to watch that. But yeah, look at her. We are going to be feeding her tonight. Well, today, because <laughs> it ain't night yet, but... I've got also these ones as well here. This one um, was obviously found with other spiders as well, so I put them in here too. They've wept us so much, but the thing is though, one of the spiders killed the other spiders. I thought they were, because the majority of like how much this stuff is in here, they would go into their own separate corners. But no, they didn't. They actually decided to like live in separate corners, but meet each other at the same time. It's really weird, but there is one spider in here if I can find it. Should be somewhere. That, that's one of the dead spiders right there. That is one of the dead spiders right there. That is one of the, I think, second spider I put in here. But where is the other spider? It might be hiding, I'm not entirely sure. But though, there's lots of webbing in here, like tons of webbing. But I cannot seem to find the spider. It's definitely in here because I saw it in here before I started streaming. But we will pop a cricket in here because I know for sure there's definitely a spider alive in here. There's just lots of hiding spaces, like there's a hiding space down here, which you could possibly go down in. So, I, I wanted this to be like a very big enclosure for like multiple different spiders so they could like live together in like their own separate corners. But <sighs> that one spider has just been killing everything, so uh, I've just decided that one spider is enough in here. <laughs> but I do actually want to rehouse this one because I've noticed because of this glass. Um, it's actually creating, I don't know if this is like, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but I don't know if it's mushroom spawns or just mold, but like those things are growing here. 
But you can see they're not mites because they don't move. I've dealt with mites before and these don't look like it. They're not moving. So they've been in the same position. They just like growing upwards. So I think it's either mushroom spores or uh, mold. So I kind of want to rehouse this uh, into a better one. But thankfully I do have enclosures coming. Uh, not entirely sure when because I don't know if they're ordered yet. But I do have a list of enclosures ready to be ordered and ready to be delivered. So which will be really, really cool. So there'll be a whole, um, I think maybe it'll be during a live stream where I will do a whole like rehouse video and stuff like that for you guys because I think that'll be really, really cool. So yeah, we're gonna feed all of these guys, all of them here, gonna feed them all. Uh, mist down any enclosures that need misting down, but first we're gonna feed them because it'll be easier to water them down without them running around because running around of the water and stuff like that. So obviously we do Ashix last because she's the favorite one. She's the best one if we give her for last. <laughs> and so we'll see the rest of these guys first. I think I'll do these guys just because they're here. So yeah, let's open these up. Let's go put the camera. Oh, I turned on the light by accident. Let's go put the camera over here. I'll use the cont container on the side here just to hold it. There you go. I actually did find a tripod that might be suitable for these videos. So if I can get that tripod soon or sometime in the future that'll be really really great because then I can angle like the camera in certain ways so right now I've got crickets and now just in my tongs got my tongs here I got actually the box here this time the box is just here so it's easy to get to I was gonna put them into separate um, containers so I can select a few of them because someone did recommend that but I decided that I could just have it open like this instead during the whole live stream because I don't think they'll jump out I had it open for a while with the lid completely off and none of them jumped out, so I think this, for now, we're just having it open like this during the stream will be fine. Just gotta grab one though. Uh, did I undo the enclosure actually? Yes I did, okay. Let's grab one of them. The only thing is that I'm using my wrong hand because I am right handed. <laughs> so I gotta grab this, okay. So let's see if we can find one. Here. No! Uh, I guess I got you, but you're gonna jump off, aren't you? These guys were being fed carrots at the moment because we don't currently have any oranges. But yes, now I've got you. I guess I'll have you then. So I'll turn this around. Put you there. Don't fall, camera, please. Okay, now, I'll put this in here. I don't expect the ones at the top to eat because the crickets mostly will fall down and then uh, they won't be able to eat them until they eventually venture down. So. Don't expect them to do that. There we go. So go down the bottom. And they'll eventually go down. We've seen them go down multiple times during the end of the streams and eat them. So I expect them to do that to be honest. Oh, Ashley's moved. Interesting. Let me show you what she's done. She moved. Look. Oh goodness, I turned the light on again by the sake. Oh well you can you can see her properly now, can't you? Don't have to like, but there we go. She's so cute. I hope to get a really nice recording feeding of her today. She'll be absolutely magic. Oh, she she saw that. She saw that. <laughs> she knew there was something going on. Oh, she's so cute though. Absolutely adorable. I can't wait to feed her. But uh, yes, what next is to be feed this one? I think yes, this one. We undo, we undo the lid because um, I can't hold the cricket at the same time as undoing the lid because that is difficult. Whoever can do that, um, absolute congratulations to you. I don't know how you can do it. But uh, yeah, I, I will do it like that. <laughs> now, time to get into the cricket. Okay. Oh, that one has some gut coming out of it. I'm doing this with the cricket in my hand. Now I have to try not to let go of it. Okay. So this one is pretty big, so I probably should have gotten a bigger cricket, but it'll be fine. There we go. Done and dusted. There we go. That one's done. Now from here. Hopefully they can stay. Now I've got my one. So this is my one that I've given some extra cobalt pieces because I noticed how the um, these typical kind of spiders that I keep catching 
they love to be at the top of the enclosures. They love to climb and everything. It's kind of like they're almost arboreal in some sense. And I don't know if they actually are because I don't know. I, I'm not able to tell the species from species by tr uh, spiders. Tarantulas, however, I possibly can. Um, spiders themselves, I'm not that very much uh, intelligent on the spicy uh, spider species. But um, I have noticed these ones like being up at the top. So I do want to, I gave this one like a little extra... Um, stuff to climb on but it's just constantly on the lid so I, I tried so <laughs> if it doesn't want to be on the cardboard pieces oh well it actually probably got onto the the lid of it because of the cardboard pieces I, I I did realize that when I put it in there first it couldn't climb so that's another factor as well now we need to clean for this guy oh come here I need like a medium size now you'll do I do Put you down here. Hey, here we go. I did that one handed down. Okay, this again. I don't know if this one will eat because this is my newest one, so I honestly have no idea. Oh, god, the lid's stuck. The lid stuck, lovely. There we go. Okay. Hi, how's it going, bud? Here we go down in there. Oh, I did expect all of these to just slowly grow down, go down, climb down, <laughs> climb down. I do expect, I do expect them to climb down eventually to get their food because they've done it before so many times. I just expect it now. Also, we've got this one now. Also, I just noticed the spider is here. I'm blind as heck. Either that wasn't there before or I'm just blind, but the spider is right there. That's the spider. Right there. That's it. I just noticed that now. Okay. Alright, we'll undo the lid. I'm not really worried about the lid being off of this. Honestly, I've had it off so many times, it's just gone to the point where I literally think I cannot climb this glass. But we will get a... I just touched something. Oops. Okay, there you go. But we will get a cricket now. Hello, come here. This one's actually eaten a lot, and I think it's very big, so I'm going to give it a big one. So we'll see. We might actually see this one eat, so... Oh, 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 oh. Maybe, maybe. If I turn the light on, you can see better. Will we watch a takedown here? Go on, eat it. It would be so cool if we saw a takedown. Come on. Uh, I'm so looking forward to seeing this one eat. I've seen it eat other spiders, but I haven't seen it eat a cricket because I haven't fed it a cricket before. Here we go. Maybe. Not sure. Though this is really cool to watch, though. <laughs> Just watching it web up. I'm not entirely sure if we'll see it eat, but it's just fun to watch this, though. Because, like, look, all that webbing was created by one spider. It's not, like, multiple spiders or anything, but it was one spider, and this spider alone, which is absolutely insane. I don't know if this is a male or female, unfortunately, though, because I kind of hope that if some of the spiders... Um, in here would hopefully um, end up mating and then I would end up with babies but um, I don't know if any of them were oh 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 is it gonna find anything or nope it's gone the complete opposite direction let's see if I can poke it towards the spider I might end up hitting the web so oh Freaking hell, okay. Yeah, I touched the webs and the spider knew that um, that amount of pressure was just not, <laughs> it would not be able to eat that much pressure. So it kind of hid away. I'll let it go, I'll let it eat in its own time, but that was cool to watch. But there we go, I'll put the lid on there. Sometimes spiders can actually predict whether or not they can actually eat the prey that's touching their webs by how much pressure the webs are being pulled on. So if the webs are being pulled on 
a decently good bit, they'll be like, okay, I think I can eat this. And if it's being pushed on like quite a lot, it's like, okay, well, I need to run away kind of situation. So they kind of know from like the temperate, like the actual pressure of the webs moving, if they can actually eat them or not. So, which I think is a very, very intelligent thing that spiders can do. And the cricket is running away now. <laughs> That cricket will eventually be eaten because I've seen the spider go absolutely all over the enclosure, so I do expect it to be eaten. But it's very cool that spiders can actually like, determine that by the webs themselves. It's, in it's interesting. But there we go. That spider's down there now. I have just saw the cricket go down over there. I do expect to eat, it, eat the cricket because, like, it's... <laughs> I've seen it eat so much. I I've seen it eat other spiders in different corners and stuff like that, so I do expect it to eat, so, yeah. Now, we got Asterix to eat. Well, not eat, but for her to feed on. <laughs> we're not eating no asterisk today. But we're going to feed her a cricket. I just have to pop it through here, and then she'll get one. So we'll get a cricket. Hello, crickets. I definitely do want a big size one for her because, like, she's a big tarantula. There you go. Now, I put you guys over here. Oh, I dropped the cricket. You're not going anywhere, cricket. No! I got you, Cricket. Oh, I got it by the head. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna put it in now. See if I can show you guys. Here's what happens. Should I put on the light for this? Probably. Let me turn on the light, actually, real quick. Oh, the light isn't working. Wait. No, the light doesn't want to work, okay. Lovely, but as you can see here, lovely turn I want to make sure there's no reflection there. I want to put it in real quick. Oh, she got it. She got it. Oh my goodness. I'll try and like hide like the reflection, but she got that. She got that. Oh my goodness. She got it. Wow. I'll try and turn it over. My goodness. But there she is, she's now eating it. Ah, so cute. She is the cutest tarantula in the entire tarnation. Look at her. Wow. Okay, now the light wants to work. It didn't want to work before, but there you go. Now you can see her. Look how cool that is. I wanna know I wanna see if I can drop another one in. Cause like I I've seen her eat like uh twice, so in the same stream, so I want to see if I can get her to eat again. That'll be so epic. Yeah, I think I'll get another cricket actually. Just try and get one here real quick. Oh, damn it. Come here. No, don't take off your legs. Gotcha. Okay. Let's see if we can put one in. This is going to be difficult too because I've got like. Oh, my hands occupied. Oh, she's right there. <laughs> Go in. Meet your demise. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was epic! Oh my god. That was insane! Oh my goodness. I didn't think that she was gonna immediately eat that. Oh my god. That was so cool! <laughs> my goodness. That was amazing. That was actually insane. That was definitely a battle. Oh my goodness. That was so cool. Absolutely insane. Look at her. She is definitely a star. I wish that glare would go away, but I kind of need the light on so you guys can actually see. Wow. That was incredible. 
Oh my goodness. I wonder if we'll get a happy dance. Will we get a happy dance? Maybe. Oh my goodness. The cricket is literally in parts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at it going around. Oh, yes. Happy dance. Oh, almost. Oh, that was basically almost a happy dance there. Yep. Yep, happy dance. There we go. It's a little happy dance. Happy dance is basically where she webs up around her and to protect like the prey from escaping or anything getting to her while she's eating. But wow, that's so cool. That's so epic. Just look at her go. Yep, you can see that little butt wiggle. Yeah, she's gonna keep doing it. Oh, that's so that, that's awesome. I'm I'm actually really happy about this. It's so nice just watching her do this, like this is just memori mem memorizing, <laughs> but like absolutely endurable, like definitely amazing. Oh, look at the little paw. She's got a paw stuck here. Oh, she saw that. <laughs> she felt it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She is so cute though. Look at her. She's going around like there. <laughs> Look at that. You're so cute. You've eaten so well. My goodness, that was awesome. That was actually epic. <laughs> that was probably like the best takedown we've actually had. Hello, Red Hellcat. We're doing great. We just watched Asterix eat. You're a bit late, yeah. We fed literally all of these and Asterix in, in the meantime. But we just had like the most epic takedown of Asterix, like absolutely amazing. I fed her a cricket, she took it down, but then I fed her another one and she absolutely tackled it. It was absolutely insane, absolutely amazing. Look at her right there, so cute. Oh, she's so cute and adorable. But yeah, at least she's going to enjoy her meal now. Haha, <laughs> that's alright. The whole reason why I upload the live streams onto YouTube is because, like, that way people can watch that on there as well when they're not um, available to watch the live streams. Yeah, she is ve very active today. She's, she's very movement. She's so cute though. You should have seen like, uh, when the video goes up on YouTube, you can watch it and watch her takedown because her takedown was absolutely insane. Look at her. Look at those eyes. I actually did get a comment very recently on my latest video where I was answering tarantula questions. Oh, 
You can see this as well. <laughs> Where the spider is getting the cricket. Look at that. <laughs> The spider is webbing up its prey. Look at that. That's so cool. Yeah, I knew that. I knew the spider would get to the croquette. It's already webbed up. Look at that. Oh my goodness. The takedowns are so incredible. But yeah, what I was gonna say was that I actually had a recent comment on one of my latest videos where I was answering transfer questions and I actually had someone say like they love my channel and that they that it deserves to grow massively and I really appreciated that channel that comment. Like honestly that was amazing. That one single comment just made me smile. There you go. Oh, look at her there. So cute. Just chilling there. <laughs> She's webbed up so much of the ground that when she pulls on the food, the ground goes with her as well. <laughs> oh, I spooked her. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Red Hellcat. That means a lot. <laughs> I mean, that one single comment just meant a lot. So another person agreeing to it as well is just absolutely insane. Thank you. But look at her go. Oh, she's so cute. I need you get the blur there when I do that. Is she kicking hairs? Wait, hold on. Is she kicking hairs? Wait. I can't tell if she's kicking... Okay. I couldn't tell if she was kicking hairs or... Webbing up. Because her back legs were going as she was... Yeah. She's kicking hairs, isn't she? That's like the form of kicking hairs. Because when her back legs go towards her butt she's kicking hairs like that's what they do yeah she's kicking she must be kicking hairs i mean obviously that's natural for her to do because like she'll kick hairs to like um guard her prey so if the prey was still alive or had any chance of getting away or any other predator was coming after the food she can web up her food and then uh cover it up with hairs eradicating hairs which stop anything in their tracks from getting to that food but like, I haven't seen her kick hairs, though. Like, ever. So, I'm not sure if she was kicking hairs. I, I'm only assuming here that she might have been. But there you go, She's she's got her food there. She's guarding it. <laughs> Great live stream as always. Thank you so much. Again, for those watching on YouTube, you can always join us on these live streams. There'll be a link in the description, which will take you to a Tarantula Community uh, Facebook group, where you can join us every two weeks for a live stream. But look at her go. <laughs> I will eventually, if there's any like food left over uh, by tomorrow, I will take that out because I don't want any mites... Um, trying to get after the food or the food rotting and her eating it because like there is obviously the potential of um rotten food being left over that mites will be attracted to it and the fact that if she eats that rotten food after about a day then she could actually um die from that so it's just little things that you have to be mindful of there you go you can see her so cute 
But that was absolutely epic. That was actually insane. Like, I can't believe we actually got a decent uh, takedown from that one. We did see that one web up its prey. Uh, these ones we have not seen eat, unfortunately. They are very up at the top, so you won't see them eat until they come down in their own time. But this one we saw eat, and that was absolutely incredible. I can't wait until she's actually, like, a size of my hand. Like, she's going to be bigger than the size of my hand, and that's going to be insane. So, like, feeding clips of her then are going to be absolutely insane like they're gonna be incredible be yeah, like this is basically Ashik's journey of like when she gets to that stage basically there she goes yeah she's she's definitely gonna she's she's a Brazilian black so she's gonna be definitely bigger than my hand and like we already get great takedowns from her as it is so the fact that when she's bigger than my hand the takedowns from that are gonna be absolutely insane Yes, <laughs> she's gonna need like a, a tank that's gonna be like covering the entirety of this. Not so so like, wide, more so tall. But yeah, she's gonna definitely need a bigger enclosure eventually when she grows up. I already have an idea of where I can get her bigger enclosures from from Tranche the Cribs. They do really really nice uh, big enclosures for these kind of species. Oh, look at her she's so cute but yeah that is basically her oh i was gonna pick that up i can't tell if she's kicking hairs or not though but let's lift this up <laughs> oh my goodness there we go um she's around one years old and i don't know technically because it depends on how much you feed them so f to be fully grown you would have to like force feed a tarantula in like the um less time so if you wanted your tarantula to be like let's say um an adult tarantula in like um three years you would have to force feed uh basically feed like every um feed like every single week uh two crickets around that kind of stuff and some other people go to the extreme where they throw in around three crickets every week which is insane. So usually if you want your tarantula to be as young as possible and to be at like a decent size, growing up as it like uh, slowly gradually goes, you would feed it the way I'm feeding her because I don't want her to grow up so fast. Um, I don't honestly know because um, there isn't like an estimate, there isn't an estimate on Google even to say how long that they naturally would get to. Um, I would say about five years, probably. It depends on the species, though, because, and definitely the genders, because males are very picky with their food. So males are, um, they'll be like, oh, I don't want to eat. And so that's typically why they have smaller abdomens. And so that takes them a lot longer to grow up. But... Yeah, there's not really much of an estimate on how long it takes. Yeah, it definitely takes time, yeah. But there she is. It definitely takes time. If you're taking your time with your tarantula like mine is, I want to like have mine sling as like just a uh, gradually going. But in the wild, you naturally wouldn't have like a, a food source. So it's kind of just like have what you have so that's always like okay this tarantula could have more that tarantula could have less in the wild and stuff like that so it's not really depending upon like in the wild of an estimate because in the wild it still varies how much they eat but look at her there she is but if you feed uh like uh, my tarantula like let's say the way i've been feeding her she'll take a few years to get to a maturity because I still want to like have her as a sling to grow up and stuff like that slowly. But I started feeding her two crickets recently because like I just I think that um it's just fun watching ET. Yeah, so even in the wild it really depends upon the food because the food the more they eat the more they're able to molt and then the more they molt the more they grow. It's a very whole process of that. Oh, look at her go. So if a tarantula doesn't eat, they're not going to grow at all. Like, that's just kind of how it happens. So you could have um, siblings 
of like the same uh, species and everything like that, same mother. Um, but if one eats more, that one will be the biggest one. She's so cute though. Look at her. Ah, oh, she's just numbing down. My goodness. <laughs> she's a hungry girl. I did uh, feed the crickets um, some carrots and I gave them like a jelly pot. Uh, I can't remember what the jelly pot does, but it's like food in a sense and water. What the? Oh, she was cooking hairs. That was a hair cake, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure that was a hair cake. Okay, I've never been more positive than that. Because a hair cake is like where the back legs, like, they kind of like go like this really fast. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was a hair cake. I'm like 99% sure that was, that must have been a hair cake, right? I'm pretty sure that was a hair cake. That must have been. Yeah, I've never seen her hair kick before. That was insane. I've never seen her do that. I mean, I knew that she possibly could, and I thought that when she was older, she'd do it, but wow. That was, that was, that was really cool. I've never seen her do that before. I thought she was gonna take a little bit while longer. I thought like a few more months then she'd be doing hair kicking. But she, no, she's doing it now, like insane. She's so cute though. And this one's being devoured in the corner. Look at that. <laughs> Well, that cricket is done for. Oh, look. This one's come down. It hasn't found the food yet, but it has come down from its up there. Look, the other one's here as well. They're all at the top. <laughs> but there you go, here's her. All right, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> what is the spider doing? Interesting. It's webbing it up more. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that will counteract this video. <laughs> Alright, um, well, that's pretty much it. We've seen all of these guys eat now. Like, that's insane. Like, Asterix, this is my Brazilian black. All of these are wild caught tarantulas. Well, not tarantulas, they're spiders, technically. <laughs> technically, they are spiders. Uh, but yeah, we've seen all of these guys eat now. Besides these three, these three are at the top, so you won't see them eat until they come down in their own time to the ground, eat the uh, crickets on the ground. So, yeah, that will basically be it for this live stream. Wow. We had an awesome takedown from Asterix. We have an awesome look at this spider eating here. Like, look at that how cool that is. I can't get like a good job, Edgar. That's so cool. I just remembered I left this open, so I don't know if any crickets got out, but I'm gonna close it now. Um, <laughs> it, oopsie daisy, some might have gone and escaped, but oh well. <laughs> I forgot I left it open. But there we go. Oh my goodness. That one's really going wild at it, but like. Here we go. Here's her. She's just casually enjoying her meal. Oh, wow. But yeah, I don't know why she's been like... She keeps like digging in this corner and that corner down there. And like other places. And I don't know why that is because she has a hide down here that she dug up. So I don't know if she was doing that to look for food or anything. Because she had... You can see that she's clearly hungry. So I don't know. But uh, she dug up a lot of places. Dug down there. Yeah, like this was all like um a bit lower she moved it all up because she took all the substrate from down there up there so yeah that's pretty much it wow look at how cool she looks and i don't know what this is she put that on there <laughs> she just stuck that to the side but she looks so so cute look at those eyeballs yeah he will find the crickets we'll all find the crickets eventually though. 
he was actually looking at the tarantulas, well, Ashix, I should say, when I was setting her enclosure up here. He was looking at her, trying to wondering what was going on. Okay, there we go. I guess that will be it for the end of the live stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, you can go ahead and you can subscribe and you can leave a comment down below if you want to. And also like the video. If you do want to join in our live streams that happen every two weeks, you can go down in the description below and there will be a link to join our group. Uh, you don't have to be a member to see what's going on or anything like that. So you can check it out, see if you like it or not, and then join the group too. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. You can post your own uh, images of your own tarantulas, ask tarantula questions, all that kind of different stuff. Because like, the group is meant for anyone of any particular reason. So if you have any tons of questions you want to ask, like go ahead and answer them ask them down there and I will uh, respond to them. Okay, that was basically it for this uh, live stream. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> this has been incredible, especially watching Ashrix eat. So yeah, I'll also be uploading uh, a short little clip of Ashrix burrowing and I might take a clip out of this live stream itself at, of her eating and put it on like a, a um, separate video itself just so you guys can see her eating and it's a small clip so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next feeding which will be um in two weeks which will be like the next like uh sunday whichever sunday that is <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next live stream